Um, so they're both on the bed, and Corey's just laying down, and John just starts hitting him. Um, eventually, they start rolling around and fall to the floor, and I call 911. And so I set the phone down so they could hear everything. Why did you set it down, though? I didn't want, to, want John to see me with the phone. Why? As I knew he would hurt me. Um, eventually, he just stopped. Um, he let him go. Um, he stopped. He's, he just, it looked like he, they were both just tired. Now, you said that after Corey leaves, you remember the defendant running at you. Yes. And then you remember, the next thing you remember is being in the shower. Yes. Do you remember how you got in the shower? I don't know how I got in the shower. Do you remember, um, when you were in the shower, did you have clothes on or off? They were off, um, and the, the shorts that I was wearing were in the shower. When you were in the shower, uh, what was the defendant doing? He was going through my phone and yelling at me through the glass door. What was he yelling about? I don't remember exactly what he was yelling about anymore. At that point in time, do you, did you think you had been hit? Yes. Um, I could taste blood in my mouth, so I knew I had been hit in the face. And I also have, I don't remember how I got in the shower. What's the very next thing you remember? I remember waking up um, on the floor. I was laying on my back. <coughs> and he was sitting next to me and going through my phone. Um, anytime he would see something that he didn't like, like someone I had followed on Instagram, he would hit me. Um, I remember at some point while I was laying there, feeling the tooth on my tongue. Um, I don't know how many times he hit me. Were the hits with an open hand or a closed fist? I can't be sure. <coughs> so every time he found something he didn't like on your phone, he would strike you to the face? Yes. What's the next thing you remember? Um, past that. I went to, I just remember being on all fours right in front of the shower. Uh, like I was about to stand up, and he kicked me in the ribs so hard that I fell over and began convulsing. Did you ever ask him for help or to stop? Just after this, um, I told him that I needed help. Because I, I genuinely felt like I was going to die at this point. What did he say to you? He told me that nobody could help me. <laughs> he told me that they were just broken ribs and there's nothing they can do to heal that anyway. Um, he told me, um, he threw the dog's blanket on top of me because he thought I was just cold. That's the reason I was convulsing. So he threw the dog's blanket on top of me. Okay. At any point in time, did he um, <coughs> ever use any weapons against you? Yes, he did. Can he, you explain how? He had a knife. Um, it was one of my, my kitchen set knives. It was a black handle with silver rivets. And um, he would push it into my ear. He would push it into my hand. He sawed off my hair. Um, he cut up all of my wigs because he always hated my wigs. He, he cut my head. With the knife? Yes. Um, when he was digging, you know, like you said, he's digging it into your ear, into your hands, um, in, into your head. Is he, is he still angry? Is he still yelling at you? Yes, he is. What's, what is he yelling? What is he so angry about at that point? <laughs> I don't know what he's still angry about. Um, I don't remember what he was yelling at me. I remember. I just remember him still being so angry he broke the handle off of the knife and still continued to use the knife blade um, in his hand to push it into me. To push it into the parts that you were talking about yes. before. Is there a good amount of, of blood on, on your face and your body? I, I couldn't see any blood. Um, I was just looking up. Uh, does, is there come a point where he tells you that he's going to have to kill you? Yes. What does he say? He looks at me and he says, now I have to kill you. I've gone too far. I, you can't be seen like this. Everyone's going to know. 